All right, everyone, welcome back. A quick update for Q&T here. So where Q&T is right now, sitting on the support level at about $85, $86 here, uh, just notice we are on the three-day candles here from this low to the high. This is where we drew our Fibonacci level just to get some uh, prices to watch. Uh, but this level we're at cannot really be ignored because you can see back here in September of 2022, uh, this is where we came down and touched that area and then we went up if we scroll back in time uh back here in january of 2022 did the same thing down in this 85 86 dollar range and then we went up uh, so it is a, a support level to take note of on um q and t here so with that said here on the three-day chart we can clearly see this thing's been in a massive downtrend forever the momentum is completely down uh, according to the three-day stock RSI there. The Heikonashi candles recently have been printing red, and it's just slowly going down. It's struggling to get over the 21 and the 50-day EMA here on the uh, three-day chart. So with that said, if we fall any lower than this $85 area, um, then there's nowhere else for this thing to go. If this is not the bottom for QNT, uh, which I'm not going to say if it is or is not, I have no idea. The only thing I could show you is the prices to watch. So if you fall any lower than $86, $85, then there's a good chance that we're going to get a pretty good discount on Q&T here for another 24, 25% drop down to this 65, 60, uh, 65 to $66 level. So just watch 85, 86. We take that out. We could possibly be dropping down to about 66 bucks. And if we end up holding this and we get another bounce off of that level, then so be it. Um, this is a good buying opportunity right now, in my opinion. Uh, but that is not financial advice, of course. Uh, we have to contend with the 21-day EMA. It is about a 10% move away. It is currently sitting at 96 bucks here. And then we have our 50-day EMA below that 106 area. It is currently at 103. So in between here in the 90 area, we may get stuck at the 21 and the 50 and continue our journey down um, so we may end up coming up here for something like this maybe the 50 and then then we come crashing down that is a possibility um, so we'll see I mean if it comes down so be it I'm still bullish on QNT uh, and the closer we get to the next uh, having in the next bull run you know let these things come down more because I will be adding to my bags at these lower prices so let it let it happen is all I can say uh, so with that said, now financial advice, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.